Just what does welcoming a new child into your family have in common with computing the area of a triangle, or the adventurous life cycle of an igneous rock, or learning the alphabet, or a science fiction space odyssey, or an ugly green troll, or a prince's pony fairy tale, or Beethoven's Ode to Joy, Napoleon as a superhero, or even becoming a grandfather. They are all stories created with a mobile storytelling application called StoryKit. In this video, we'll share the background of StoryKit, how it was designed, how to use it, and how it has influenced children, schools, and families to capture and share stories about their lives and imaginations. StoryKit was created to extend the mobile reading app from the International Children's Digital Library and to integrate original story creation and editing features. StoryKit was designed at the HCI Lab in 2009 with an intergenerational design team of children and adults ranging in age from 7 to 77 years old. Adult design partners included grandparents, parents, and family friends of our child designers and kids team. Okay, so how do you interact with StoryKit after you've downloaded it? You can start by reading one of the four historic children's books that comes with StoryKit. Look at Humpty Dumpty, read it. Scrolling through, turning pages. Let's go back. You can also create your own storybook. Let's add an image from the photo gallery. Got a picture of my puppy and his friend. Now I'll add a little paint. Let's draw a bone here. Doggy treat. Add some text. We'll adjust the text. Bring it in. Put it I'll put it over here. Maybe I'll add a little red ball in the picture, right on top of the picture. So you can paint on top of your photos. There it is. Now for some audio. Let's make a bark bark. Move that over here so we can play it when we read it. And there we have our book. Add a title. We'll call it Dog Day. Now I want to share it with our children's grandmother. So we'll just add Grandma. and send. With regard to overall usage, since StoryKit was launched in September 2009, it has developed a user base of over 385,000 authors from 175 countries. They have used it more than 2.2 million times. They've created over 810,000 stories in 40 different languages, including Spanish, Korean, Japanese, Russian, German, Danish, French, Chinese, and English. They've shared about 100,000 stories with friends and family. But those are externally observed statistics. What are the users telling us in emails and interviews? In schools, StoryKit authors range in age from preschoolers to 12th graders.
And schools are not just using StoryKit in language arts or English classes. They are using them in science, technology, and math classes, too. They are also using StoryKit across campus, not just in individual classrooms. We have also found that our design, which was originally meant to accommodate people at the opposite end of the generational spectrum, is also helping children who are typically considered at the margins of society, children with special needs such as those with severe autism, apraxia, and Down syndrome. Finally, several users keep in touch with us. A teacher from the UK continues to correspond with us to let us know how her budding writers are doing since she first sent this note to us in the fall of 2010. StoryKit could not have been created without its developer Alex Quinn and his advisor, Professor Ben Peterson, along with Professor Alison Druin, all from the Human-Computer Interaction Lab at the University of Maryland.